I'm hoping that I'm recording this because this is a perfect example of <clears throat> mother-daughter relationships. How daughters or people in general, they keep blaming their mom for everything that's so awful in their life. And guess what? You see the blonde girl? Actually, the, I don't know. Her hair looks like it needs some coloring and it's dirty looking. But okay, she sits up here and have all of these issues with her mom. But this is my favorite, favorite, favorite sitcom. Well, actually not my favorite because my favorite sitcom is Lincoln Heights and Soul Food. And then I love, 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 um, uh, what is, um, the, uh, Perry Place, uh, Little House on the Perry. The, I have the, the most, my famous, um, movies and sitcoms is because these are people who are beautiful. These are people who are amazing. My favorite of all time sitcoms is Lincoln Heights and Soul Food. So you should get those series. If you want to understand so much about Sheila True Love, get those series, Soul Food. They have, I think, like six or seven series. I bought them all. And then get Lincoln Heights. That's another one who's going to help you understand Sheila True Love for who she really is, her true love. You want to understand what my personality is about? You want to understand who I am? Get Soul Food. Get Lincoln Heights and get Mom. This show right here. And don't forget um, Little House on the Prairie. I love Little House on the Prairie because that's when love was really love and, and everybody was just so freaking genuine. And that's me. That's my personality. Okay? That's it. Those four shows, it sums me up, got me all summed up. Let's go back to this mom thing. Oh, hold on. Because, shoot. This uh, is a good show. Because it shows huh, mom and daughter who have made mistakes. You make mistakes. You make bad decisions. You make bad choices. You just be a, an adult about it. You sit there with your mom and you work through it. Stop doing all of this self-hatred for your mom. Stop this. Because you're sober doesn't mean you can't take a Xanax. Actually, Mom, it sort of does. Really? <laughs> Maybe I don't have two years. <laughs> and I don't need a Xanax. I'm doing great. Well, that's funny, because your daughter says you're hanging on by your fingernails and sleeping with your boss. Wait, when do you talk to Violet? We talk all the time. And we're Facebook friends. <laughs> I don't want her talking to you. Well, she has to talk to somebody. She's sexually active, drinking, smoking grass. Uh-huh. Familiar? Her daughter, hello. You're making this about me? Uh, okay, I have come to understand that you were the best daughter you could be. My job is to forgive you, which I do. Uh, oh, my God. You forgive me? You've come a long way. Uh, Excuse me, but if anybody needs to be forgiven, it's you, and I don't, and I never will. There's hardly a day I can remember that I didn't come home to an empty house. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Well, other mothers were cooking dinner. You were cooking meth. <laughs> Otherwise known as working. <laughs> I, I don't want you in my life. And while you're at it, stay away from my daughter. She may need a better role model than me, but it's certainly not you. Because she's high and mighty, and she's better than her mother. Uh, right? Okay. Yeah, right. My daughter doesn't get me. But oh, you know what's going to happen? Sorry. That blondie girl? Watch what her daughter, watch what her daughter ends up doing. She's so bad on her mom. But watch this. We're going to talk part two.